We have a brand new book called Make It Patriotic. And we're going to be doing a deep dive on some of the quilts and show you exactly how they're made. Keep watching. Hi, it's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. We have a great show today. We are going to be doing a deeper dive on some of the quilts in our brand new book, Make It Patriotic with Three Yard Quilts. We've got lots of pieces and parts, so let's get started. Now this is one of the patterns from the book called Waves. And I had a lot of fun designing this. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun to just kind of conceptualize it and then color it in and then figure out how to make it. It's always parts of the, the design process. Let's put that on the table and show you how easy this one goes together. I love the fabric on this quilt. It's such a great choice. Oh, thank you. I love it too. It was fun finding this ombre that has this wonderful patina to it. It looks like a well-loved, uh, not really antique -y, but you know, kind of antique -y. Yeah. And yeah, uh, with that so. ombre fabric oh, in this, yes. it will change the color. So you can really see that changing in here. So it'll give you that effect of the the wave of the flag. Oh, yes. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, because you know when it waves, it gets darker in some yeah. areas and uh, lighter in some love areas. Love it. Well, love let's it. talk about how easy this quilt is to okay. make. Okay. And let's start off by showing you that we've given you lots and lots of diagrams. And if you will just look at the pictures, it'll t show you exactly how to put it together. So we're going to make um, units. And we have a square and a half square triangle. You're going to put those together and you will just rotate one of these. You are actually making uh, unit one and unit two. Very simple. Very simple. Mm -hmm. And then you repeat, what do they say, rinse and repeat? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're going to repeat that by making uh, the, the third and the fourth unit. Uh -huh. Now these are going to be sewn together in a special order. And once again, you're going to have pictures in the book. So it shows you exactly how to put them together. Okay. I'll pass that on to you. And then voila, we have our oh. units turned correctly and put together. So this is going to be awesome. This will take this block and we do still have our seam allowances, so they're a little bit larger than uh, what you see on the finished quilt. This so is simple. Isn't that a fun block? This is very easy. So you make four units and you make two blocks and easy. Voila, you come up with an incredible, incredible quilt. Now look at this. So Ooh, and I love the way they just join together whenever you yeah. put them together so it makes that fun wave. Mm -hmm. So the next one that goes on will just be, continue I that love wave. Love Isn't that it. fun? Yes. All right, let's take a look at this fabric because okay. it's really pretty. And as I was telling you, it is an ombre, so you can see how it goes from light over to the dark. Yes. And it's going to be the same on every one of these fabrics. So that gives you all that light and depth. It's perfect for a wave. It is. It really <laughs> is. I'm telling you, you picked the perfect fabric. <laughs> I really like the way it turned out. So this is our fabric number one. It'll go in this uh, red spot. Now this is an interesting thing. <clears throat> Whenever we pick out our fabric one and two and three, um, every one of these blocks are made with those colors, but that number two is causing the one and the three to really come off of the surface of the quilt so you can see the design. So that's our number one. Our number two is that background. It's going to go Gorgeous. right back here. And then our number three is this beautiful blue, and that will go in the number three spot, and it'll also be in the border. And you know, this is really interesting because really, these three fabrics are all the same print, but they're in different colors, the mm -hmm. red, the gold, and the blue. And it works perfect because of the contrast, but it gives it such unity, mm -hmm. and I love that. And you know, the cool thing about this pattern is that it would look adorable in other fabrics. Just oh, think of yes. maypole. Oh. Oh, and the pinks and the yellows. Christmas and, bows. Oh, Christmas ribbons. Yes. Love that. That would that. be good. Oh, what else? <laughs> so versatile. So incredibly versatile. School colors. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Football quilt. Ooh, Ooh yes. Yeah. Like so that. see, there's all these different ways you could use this. All you have to do is pick out three fabrics, and you have your focus, your light, and your dark, and you can make it for any occasion. I love it. It's great. Well, we are excited about this, and here's our information. This kit is called Grand Old Flag. It's 8023176. -3 Waves is the pattern from the book Make It Patriotic, and the alternate pattern is Old Glory. 
Okay, now this is the Liberty Quilt from the Patriotic Book, and we are going to actually step through how to put this block together. Now this block is a larger block, it's actually nice size, made up of multiple units. It's very attractive, isn't it? It's very fun, and it really has that great Betsy Ross feel. So let's go look at our pieces and parts. I always love watching the pieces and parts because, yeah. you know, a lot of you realize that Fran and I share uh, the designs, but uh -huh. she designs hers by herself and I design mine by myself. And then we get, it's kind of like we're getting to watch the show too. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Now, what's really interesting about that is mm -hmm. sometimes I'll design something and she hasn't seen it and I'll show it to her and she'll go, wait a minute, I did that. <laughs> Or vice versa, you know? On the same book. <laughs> On the same book. It's funny, anyway. Okay, so let's look at the pattern for Liberty first. Okay. Because, as I pointed out, this is actually a very large block made with multiple units, but it's very simple. So we're just gonna break it down for you so you can see it step at a time. The first thing I'm gonna do is just show you quickly. So one of our first units is made with half square triangles and we step through very simply, step one, step two, step three, and then the completion. And then we're gonna take those units and sew them together so that we have our full block. So it's very simple and the instructions are great. So you're gonna be able to follow very easily. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do to make our block on Liberty, I'm gonna go a little sideways here, and I'm gonna start with the easiest part. This is the center of the block. It is simply a square. And as you can see, that goes right there, okay? Now, the first unit that we're gonna do is gonna be a four patch. And we've basically strip pieced these, We've got one here and one of this colorway, and then we've sewn them together to make our four patch. Very simple. We're making four of these for each block, and that goes in the corners here. So if we lay this on here, you can see, boom, boom, right there, there's our corners for our block. Now, the third unit that we're gonna be building is made with half square triangles, and it's a very simple. So what we have here is a unit that is made with two half square triangles that are turned. Our fabric two is on the point here. And then here's one made the opposite way. Oh, look, that's so okay. easy. So you've got the stars here yep. and now you've got the blue up here. So all, <laughs> clever. Yeah, it's the same half square triangle. It's just that we've rotated yeah. them and sewn them together in a different way. And what this does when we sew them together and make our third piece of our block, it creates this neat little point. So I'll just put this up here so that you can see. So this would be sewn together, of course. Okay, so it'd go just like that. Now remember, we do have our seam allowances on this, so they are a little bit bigger. And see, I had not dissected that quilt, and so that was so fun Super, to see super that. simple, <laughs> yes. Okay, now we're gonna start putting this block together with all these units. But before I do that, I'm gonna pick these up off of the quilt. Now, I laid those out horizontally and they're actually made vertically. So here I have a piece sewn together. Now this is our center block here with our two half square triangle units. And it is gonna go on, oops, I missed that one. Okay, <laughs> so it's gonna go this way. So you can see here's our center, here's our half square triangle unit and our half square triangle unit. Now we need this part of the block. And I have that here. Now you're gonna see Here's our, ha our four patch that we made with our strip assemblies, our half square triangle unit, and then another four patch. That goes on the sides here. And then you're gonna do that again on this side. So it's actually a very, very simple block to put together. We just have some very basic units that go together, they're rotated, and they make this gorgeous quilt. And you know, you don't want to miss out on making this quilt. Even if you have that little bit of fear of making a half square triangle, mm -hmm. they are super easy and we have a tutorial that will help you conquer any fears you have on making half square triangles. Yeah. And you won't miss out on making this yeah. beautiful and quilt. They're so easy and they really are fun to do. So I know if, you've, if you're used to just doing strip piecing and squares, it's time to do that next step with half square triangles. And they're fun and they add such a great element. So Absolutely. Really expands. So love these fabrics for this. 
we've got our great red floral and you know it's kind of an unlikely fabric for a patriotic quilt but I think it works so well and it's beautiful with this design. So we have our red background with all of our blue flowers and our little cherries on here. This is our number one fabric. It goes in the center of our block as well as in our four patch on the corners and the border. And then this great star fabric. Mm -hmm. this perfect star fabric <laughs> on this great ecru with the red and blue stars. This is our background. Now remember our, our little strategy here. Our focus fabric is the one that we want to focus on that we really love. It's our favorite. It's the big print, whatever, but make it whatever you want. Then you take that out of the equation and the lightest fabric is your number two and the darkest fabric is your number three. So our stars here is our number two. Makes a great background so that our design really pops. And then we have our blue, which is kind of neat because it just has the white floral on here, mm -hmm. but it really anchors us and gives us the contrast for a great star design. So in the four patch, in our half square triangles, and just a little on the border to give it a nice frame. Well, you know, there's a lot of people, now you said this is kind of unlikely fabric but mm -hmm. uh, for patriotic, but there's a lot of parents out there that have one, two, three kids that yeah. serve in the armed forces. Wouldn't this be a great gift for some for a mother, yes. like a Mother's Day quilt or something Ooh, like that? Yes, I it mean, would be. it's it's just such a great color combination and just so pleasing. I think. I think so. Definitely. Too. All right, let's get the kit info on this. This kit is called Lady Liberty, and the kit number is eight zero two three one seven three. The pattern is Liberty from our brand new book, Make It Patriotic with Three Yard Quilts. And the alternate pattern that we're suggesting is Freedom. Now this one is a fun one called Fireworks. And um, it was designed to mimic a firecracker. And there's reasons why I did it the way I did with two blocks. It might look like there's just one block there, but I actually did it in two blocks. So let me show you how that works. This is fun. I really like the quilting on this one too. Oh, I yes. Think it's neat. And you can see that quilting. Isn't that pretty? She put big stars on it. We have a great quilter. Lucinda is yes. awesome. Awesome. It's very fun. Okay, as I have said several times in, um, as I've shown my quilts for a while, when we're designing, we try to take in as much of the feedback that we've gotten from you. Right. So be sure to make those comments and tell us things that you like and what you'd like to see. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that has come up multiple times is designing a pattern that will accommodate a directional fabric. Now we've done a video on directional fabric, but when I was designing this, I had a lot of options for the ways that I could do, you know, create this pattern, but I wanted it to accommodate directional fabric and I wanted it to have movement. So in order to do that, I created two blocks. Now let me show you how I made those two blocks because that is very important. You can't see it necessarily on the quilt, but our first block is going to be made like this. It's going to have a friendship star, and then it's going to have this additional piece sewn to the friendship star. Okay. So it looks like a very short firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the burst and no, no, no body. <laughs> right, but the reason I did that is because then I would be able to stagger them. So I could start up at the top with a partial block, if I wanted on this side, uh -huh. and then you would add a little piece to this when you got down to the next block. Okay. This will just go together like so. Oh, and there's so, your fabric. That cool? That's cute. And yeah. you were saying this would accommodate a directional fabric. I think this would be darling with a stripe. You know, I love stripes, and I think that oh, would be yeah. such a cute firecracker in a stripe. <laughs> right, and it would also be cute if you had flags that were all going the same oh, way. You yeah. could put flags on there as well. So fun. Yeah, so, so, so fun. it's super simple, and let's go ahead and put this on here so that you can see. And once again, like I said, we, we leave our seam allowances on there, but this is going to be here, and just imagine, the next block is going to be this. Aww. So isn't that cool? It's and so that fun. creates that whole yeah. section. But it, it required making two blocks in order to accomplish all of the things that I <laughs> wanted to accomplish. In well, this you one. did it. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> all right. Now let's look at the fabric because it is beautiful. This is a wonderful grunge with that gold look mm -hmm. to it. Yes. So that's going to be your number one fabric. 
And then our number two fabric is another grunge with the stars. So you can, you can barely see them, but it does give that dimension, that depth to an otherwise flat fabric. And then you're going to add the third grunge, which is gorgeous too, with yes. the stars on wow. the borders. Yeah, and you know, all of these patriotic quilts makes me really think about quilts of valor. I know that my husband was in the military, and of course he says once a Marine, always a Marine, so he would say he was still a Marine, of course. <laughs> um, and I know that as a military wife myself, mm -hmm. I appreciate all of those gifts and words of comfort that came to us. And I know mm -hmm. that a lot of you out there do participate in Quilts of Valor and really help to bring comfort and healing to all of those service people out there. So this is a great opportunity, lots of great patterns. And it is really nice. Now our lap size patterns in our books mm -hmm. are not quite large enough for the minimum size that Quilts of Valor has. They have a minimum and a maximum mm -hmm. size. And, but the really cool thing is that every one of our patterns, we have our uh, lap quilt, our twin, and our king queen. So with two kits, you could make the twin size and it would work for the Quilts of Valor. Yes. Or you could add borders to oh, the yes. lap size. Yes. Now, the great thing about adding borders is we have different options for you. We do have Fabric by the Yard online. Mm -hmm. We also have those end of bolt specials that are available that often match our quilts and our kits, which is really great, so be sure and check those out. Or, of course, you can get two kits, which is wonderful. So um, the Quilts of Valor have a motto that quilts equal healing, and I really, really love that. So if you'd like to find out more about Quilts of Valor and participate, be sure and check out their website. It is Q-O-V-F, so it's like Quilts of Valor with an F dot org, and they will have all of the information there for you to be able to participate with Quilts of Valor. I really do appreciate that organization, and I've seen many times when we were at quilt shows that there would be a vendor or somebody, and they would arrange the presentation of the quilts right there on the show floor. Yes. Most of the time, surprising the recipient. Oh, I've seen, I've seen some tears. It's, and oh, <laughs> it's very moving. It's so appreciated, and we love quilters because they have such giving hearts. So hopefully, we have something here that you can use to share with others. Now, this one, this kit is called Star Spangled. It's 8023170, and it's fireworks from the book Make It Patriotic, and an alternate pattern would be Courage. Now, our next quilt that we're going to step out is called Jubilee. Now, this one, I named it Jubilee because it really does have so much energy and so much joyful celebration to it, and I love it. Lots of movement on the front of this quilt, and look at this great quilting. I think we'll be able to see that a little bit more when we get it on the table, so let's put it on the table. I love this quilt. I do too. It's really, I mean, thinking of jubilant and joyous and mm -hmm. jubilee, and we're celebrating, and we're celebrating our country's freedom once a year, 4th of July, and mm -hmm and all of those people that serve us out there. After talking about Quilts of Valor, that's like all I can think about now. <laughs> right. <laughs> so this one is just fantastic. And you know, this is a really, really simple one to put together. We're kind of doing a similar thing over and over again, just alternating our colors. So let's start out with the first block and show you what we did. So what we have here is a pinwheel. So a lot of us know pinwheels. We've got half square triangles. We've got four put together here. And that is like the base of our block here. So, and of course I have my seam allowances still there. So don't forget that. The next thing we're gonna do is just border the pinwheel block on two sides. So we're gonna start with the, the top here and then a side. And that's the first step. And then the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna have another color top and side. And we're just bordering that block on two sides so that it gives us that offset look. That and was easy. Very, very simple. <laughs> okay, now the, the other blocks are equally as simple, probably even more so. And the reason why is because we're doing the same thing again, but we're just using a solid square instead of a pinwheel. And this one would go right here, just like that. Mm -hmm. So we're, it's made exactly the same. We're just skipping the whole pinwheel thing and just doing a solid square. 
So some of the blocks have pinwheels. Some of them have a solid square. Now look at this one right here. This one uses our focus fabric as the solid square instead of our number three. And we're just rotating those colors around so that when we put them all together, they just have that great flow and that joyousness. Love it. Love it. All right, let's look at the fabric kit on this one. Great fabrics here. So our focus fabric is this great kind of modeled with all the little water splatter looking mm -hmm. things on it. And I love it because it's red, white, and blue and it has all that movement. So that's our focus fabric. Of course, we've got it in our uh, block here, in our pinwheel and on the border. Very nice. Then our number two is just kind of a tone on tone white. And I liked it because it looked like wind to me. Mm -hmm. You know, this kind of makes me think of pinwheels. You know, in the summertime when you've got all those pinwheels oh, yeah. at 4th of July and they're shh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, this is like the wind that's creating. And that, that goes in our half square triangles and, and all of our blocks here. And then our number three is the great red, and that's going to give us our punch for our 4th of July. It also goes in each of the blocks as well as on the border and the binding. Really gives us that anchor, that dark, rich, deep red. That's so a beautiful red. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, the kit information on this one, 8023172. It is called Show Your Colors. And the pattern name is Jubilee, and it's from our brand new book, Make It Patriotic. The alternate pattern that we're suggesting is It's a Breeze. Now we showed you four of the quilts today from our brand new book, Make It Patriotic. If you would like to see all eight of the quilts, be sure and check out the video that we did earlier. We are so excited about this book, Make It Patriotic, and we think you should make it yours today at fabriccafe.com. Great, it's Fran Morgan and Donna Robertson. Thanks for joining us.